Darren quits his theory. <laughs> Find out why. <laughs> I'm, and, then, and this type of culture that's developing uh, around Ethereum, and it's this is really not a criticism of the programmers. This is more a pro criticism of humanity. <laughs> but um, when the Ethereum project started, I was very excited about the idea of actually having companies on the blockchain. I thought that you know some of Wall Street would kind of migrate whether it be existing businesses have their stock issued as a token or which I, I thought that was a long shot, but I expected some, you know, very reputable businesses to basically allow their, uh, their, uh, stock to trade on ether. And what we've seen here are all these tokens and it's really difficult to identify the, uh, the, strong performing actors okay um, i'm not going to say good or bad just strong performing actors because like when you invest in a company or company right this is the idea that an actual token is a stock put the, we had to put the sec on the shelf for this discussion but um when you invest in a company you want basically you want them to develop a product and sell the product and provide value to people right yes that's what you want to happen and you know it would be nice if you could buy the stock and the stock goes higher but the idea is if everything works well the stock goes higher because that company is actually creating value and selling it you know right so um producing something something and, yeah. and i didn't you know before ethereum started i didn't think about the use tokens which are fine but at the same time it's hard to point to uh examples where they have a working uh use token that you can actually get the product f with the use token right so sure. so yeah so i couldn't predict that before ethereum and i did think that there would be stocks and things but since so now we have a lot more information we we see that there's a lot of you know p poorly performing actors in the space if if not bad actors and um so so i think i'm done with ether Really? Wow! I, I think I'm done. I, I'm, you know, I'm, you can't. Well, you can't throw out the baby with the bathwater. I, I, I mean, I. There's I'm a lot of good stuff still so going I, on there. I'm perfectly happy not owning any, and then if something happens that's exciting, I can buy back. It's sure. not like, you I know, mean, that's reasonable. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't use it. I'm, I was trying to, um, I'm trying to liquidate, and I, I couldn't get the node to run. It's like two million blocks behind or something like that it's a lot of blocks behind and um you know i'm using my ether wallet and and there is some news associated with this so my ether wallet has uh they had a dns hijack that happened right and they they've been a very good service to use if you didn't want to run a full node and all that and they've been trustworthy uh extremely so i mean so the company my ether wallet i have a lot of esteem for however their dns apparently got hijacked and i believe million like hundreds of thousands of dollars were lost by users of the site because they didn't check their the ssl certificate which you you just look up and see um so uh th th i mean that happened so it's it's there there and um i i also think that you know ethereum being is a good experiment but now that we have some data coming in and ether you know we we have seen what happened there was the dow hack right and that was the result of poor programming yes. there was an article out about an overflow bug again uh, a problem with um the which apparent which the article claimed it affected all erc20 tokens however i'm skeptical <laughs> of that claim i'm skeptical of the claim about the overflow bug accepting the erc20 tokens because i noticed shapeshift today was still accepting erc20 token now right if there are some t tokens that for uh i don't know exactly which reason but there are some tokens that are not affected by this this bug. okay so yeah i, I know swarm city was still on shapeshift and things and and swarm city is actually a, a project that ha has delivered a product um, I haven't used it. I haven't tried to use it in a while, so I'm not sure what stage it's at, but it's, it's definitely usable. I've seen people use it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I, I think I'm done. I'm okay. Done. Yeah. So, 
Wow, Darren, that's it's sort of a, a revelation, a revelation right here. You you're you're done with Ethereum, right? I mean, I I I thought it was a great idea, all this, but with all those bugs in these contracts, I think that's just a general idea that it's just too flexible and too um, too useful. So that way, like when you're doing security. You have to, you know, audit everything and, you know, it, it really would take a, a huge team to do that. And that's not being done, you, to this, this audit. Uh, uh, something like Bitcoin, it's, it's got, it restricts its use cases, but then the security audit's a lot easier. Does that make sense? Right. Yes. So, um, so uh, yeah, so I, I, I think Ethereum's been a great experiment and I expect... You know, if if history is any guide, I'm probably gonna get out a little bit too early, but uh, I'm I'm perfectly happy uh, supporting the projects I support and not supporting the projects I don't want to support anymore. Wow! I I, I hope that they um, do something awesome, but uh, the amount of overhead uh, related to what they've done, what the project of that now the code is awesome. The code, like again, the developers are fine, top notch. You should hire them for your projects. They're great. I mean, I'm I'm amazed that they've done what they've done. I'm just saying when you get this launched and the humans start interacting in it, it's it's just not something I want I'm, I want anymore. Darren quits his theory. Yeah. Find out why. <laughs> well, I mean, and then this, if something else cool happens, uh, again, I'll buy it. It's not. I mean, I'll if I need ether to do something, sure. I'll, I'll, I'm not against it. I'm not like. You're not an ether. You're not, you're not to an it. Ethereum holder. No, I'm, I'm not. I okay. won't be, and hopefully in a week or two. Well, well, thanks for that, Darren. That was a it was a good sort of rational, reasoned explanation why you don't want anything to do with Ethereum anymore. And it's a gamble you're not willing to take. Yes, yeah. then that's fair enough. I mean, I, I, I bought it kind of early, so I'm still up. But I'm it's, now that I have more information. I, I don't I'm I'm really happy about some other projects so well excellent moving on and talking about other projects